In today's video, we are creating this amazing marketing cover in Photoshop. Without wasting much time, let's go and create our artboard right now. So first of all, go to File, select New, choose A4, set the bitrate to 16 bits, maintain the default settings right over here, give it a name and click on Create. Okay, so after creating your artboard, let's turn off the screenshot right here and let's drag down. So make sure you open all the folders. Okay, so after opening all the folders, let's begin. First of all, I imported this image onto my artboard and it was not black and white. The image was having its own original colors. After that, I right click on it and rasterize the image. After rasterizing the image, I press shift ctrl u to desaturate the image. After desaturating the image, what I did next was to go to the adjustment panel right over here, select solid color and um, boom, as you can see, this is the solid color that I got. So this, since we have one already, um, let's maintain the solid color right over here. This is the color that I use for this magazine cover right over here. So after that, I went to the blending options and set the color to multiple. After changing the color to multiple, I change or I decrease the opacity to 55%. After decreasing the opacity of the color fill to 55%, what I did next was to go to the was to double click on the color fill. And guys, as you can see, I changed the blending or mode option to multiple once here again. I set the opacity to 55%. And guys, the most important thing that I did here was to split the underlying layer into two. So as you can see, the blacks, the blacks right over here is split into two and the white over here is split into two. To do this is very easy. Make sure, let's use the, this layer for example. Make sure you go to the, you place your mouse scissor on the place. Press Alt and click and hit on your mouse to split it. After splitting it, then you can drag it towards any place that you like. So since we have done it for this and the lane layer right over here, we don't need to do it again. So after that, you just click on OK to move on to the next thing. So after that, the next thing that I created was color balance. So with the color balance, to get color balance, what you have to do is to go to the adjustment panel. This is color balance right over here. So since I have one already, let's open my color balance. With the color balance, I set my cyan to plus 22, the magenta to minus 8, and the yellow to plus 14. That is the mid tone. And with the shadows, I set I, I maintain everything right over here and with the highlight too, I maintain everything right over there. So when you're done with the color balance, the next thing that we will look at is the shapes. So I do, I went for the rectangle to, let's say the color to white. Okay guys, and I drew this. I drew this rectangle shape, so let's draw a similar thing like this right over here. It's not any difficult work that you can do with the rectangle to so just be limiting the spaces that you'll be using the rectangle tool for. Okay, so let's activate the rectangles that I drew to make my magazine cover look more amazing and beautiful okay so these are the shapes that i do with the rectangle too okay so with these shapes guys i'll type something inside and with this shape is just the creating or making my post uh, my magazine cover look very beautiful 
okay so let's start and click on them okay so i'm clicking on the shades that i created in um, photoshop okay so with, with these shapes and with these shapes guys i'll type something inside but with this the rest of the shapes is just decorating my magazine cover i'll come back to the border for the magazine um, after creating my shapes the next thing that i did was to add barcode reader to it so that people when people see it they will know that this is a real magazine cover okay so after everything i made a screenshot of it and sent the way to camera raw filter to make a screenshot what you have to do is to press ctrl or shift e together and it will create a screenshot for you after that send go to fill choose camera raw filter and make some adjustments right over here so that your design or your magazine cover will look outstanding okay so the next thing that i did right here was to go to the adjustment panel look for vibrance and brightness and i added them to date so as you can see i set my vibrance to plus 21 what the vibrance do is to add more color details to your work and what the brightness do is to add more brightness to your work so i set the brightness to 4 and i set the contrast to 10 after that what i did next for the test section was to type in this fashion after typing in this fashion i cut some parts away so that it will look like this so i sell some parts to stroke and i maintain one part with a normal test effect so as you can see this is the stroke effect that i did for the first one so when you go to the blending option i set the fill opacity for the advanced blending to zero and my stroke is set to five pixels and with the cutting of the test what i use is the marquee tool that i use for the cutting of the test right over here so when you do something like this just you just create on the you click on the vector max to create a vector max for it and then press ctrl i to change the position of the one that you are looking for so after that i added this change fashion trend to the magazine cover after adding this trend to the magazine cover i added the fell star guide and as you can see when you are creating a magazine make sure your test stand out make sure your test stand out for the magazine cover designs so okay after that it's now time is to input test into this sheet that i created so i have new clothes new shoes new design bags new beds new looks secrets tips gossips blinks guys this is not her real name but i added blinks hepman so that it will add and make the magazine cover look outstanding so the font somebody may ask what fonts did you use for the designs so the fonts that i use for the new new style was cyber tooth that i use for the new design bags and everything and for the blinks i use metropolis after using the metropolis the helpman i use good times for the helpman and the feeling style falling styling guide i use bassy font for it and with the normally with this one i use timeless for the fashion and guys that's was it okay so after activating all our tests what i did next was to make a screenshot of the entire work 
that I created in Photoshop. And guys, place it in a mockup, and boom, we have our magazine cover design designed beautifully in Photoshop and nicely. So, thank you guys for watching once again. See you next time in my next tutorial.